Hey, what's up, guys? Um, in this video, we're going to make sure that our GraphQL server works. And I want to show you um, Graphical, which is a graphic user interface for uh, GraphQL servers. So, without any further ado, pop this into our code here server.use at the endpoint graphical with an I in there. And that's going to use Graphical Express. And the endpoint URL is going to be the same thing as whatever graphical is here. And you can make it other things, but the standard is just to make it graphical. And in order to do that, we're actually going to need to install one more package here. Um, I believe it's graphical tools. Yep. So we're going to do npm i dash capital S graphql dash tools. Oh, I misspelled it. npm install s-a-g-r-a-p-h-q-l There we go. So we need something called make executable schema. So we're going to import make executable schema from our graphical tools and we're also going to import we're going to call this type depths that's going to be from dot slash schemas slash user we're going to import resolvers from dot, slot, dot slash resolvers slash user And then we're going to say dot schema equals make executable schema and we're going to say type defs Resolvers. And you may notice this down here in our GraphQL Express schema. I'm using um, part of ES6 JavaScript um, destructuring, I guess, or whatever, where normally this would be schema colon, you know, schema. But since they're both named the same, we don't need. We can leave off. We can leave off the other part. It automatically knows that. And the same with type depths and resolvers. If they were named something else, we do colon and whatever that other name was. But since we don't need to do that, just making them the name that they need to be makes everything a little more compact, a little neater. Nice code. So if everything's working, we should be able to give it a test here. Do npm run server, see what happens. Let's see here. An error. Oh, we need type query. There we go. And our server is up. So 
in Cloud9, you can open up your application like this. But remember, we set our port. Default port on Cloud9 is 8080. To get to 8081 or 8082, you need to actually type it in. So we'll go 8081, and it's graph IQL. Hmm. We got some kind of error. And once again, I spell graphical wrong. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. I'll get it right eventually. Anyway, this is pretty cool. And I'm taking these first videos pretty slow in case someone's never used uh, graphical before. You know? Eventually, I'll speed things up when we start to get a feel for how things roll. But um, in here, you can click on Documents, and it'll have all your, your queries. So there's our Get User query right there. And this is a really great tool. Over here is where you enter in enter in stuff. So it'll auto-complete for you. So you want to do Query. And put down in curly braces. Then Get User. And since we have a parameter, we need our parentheses our user ID and it's expecting an integer so we'll go with two and then we can get back our username and then you hit play and see just like that we're getting data from our file over there it's pretty cool so we could come here just to show you how it all works um, Maybe we make one more user. Make Sally. And put another query in there. We'll call this create user. Or rather, sorry, all users. That's going to return an array of type user. And down here, we just put in a comma. And then we can do another, we can do all users. root, args, context, and that returns users. Pretty simple, huh? And even up here, we can shorten this one up. We can use the object destructuring. We can say user ID here and get rid of this. Save that. Come over to graph graphical. Restart it. And see now our all users queries in there. All users get their ID, username. There it is right there. Pretty simple. Now we got a basic understanding of how graphical works, and we're going to dig in on the next episode. See ya.